Today I'd like to do a video that features my EDC messenger bag. This is the bag that I bring with me every day during my daily commute to work. So you could almost call it an everyday commuter bag. I used to have all the items in here stored in a backpack and I made the switch a few years back to go with the messenger style to allow me to carry two different bags at once. For example, if I wanted to have both the get home bag and my EDC items, uh, you can't really do that easily with two backpacks, but you can do that with one backpack and a messenger bag. So I made the switch a few years back and a lot of the modules that I carried previously in the backpack have been slimmed down to be able to fit in a messenger bag. And these are all the items that I like having with me on a daily basis. So for this video, we're going to go through all of those items in detail. As always, I've included a PDF document that you could download by clicking a link in the description box below. It has a list of all the items that are included in this and where you can purchase them at, how much it costs, and my various comments regarding each of those items. So let's get started now with this video featuring my EDC messenger bag. Let's get started. Let's start off first with the actual bag itself. For the past several years, I've been using the Vertex EDC Courier Messenger Bag as my EDC bag when commuting to work. It's built extremely well and it's an absolute tank in terms of toughness. Sometimes I do carry two laptops, one personal and one work one, and this bag has no problem handling that due to the secondary storage slot that it has in it. Now that particular storage slot is intended to be used by law enforcement as a ballistic shield, but I just use it as a secondary storage slot for an additional laptop if needed. I don't fully leverage the Tactigami Velcro system as the manufacturer designed, but I just love the quality of this bag and I highly recommend it. Let's start going through all the zippered pockets one by one, starting off first with the top pocket of the Veritex EDC Courier Messenger bag. And the first item that I have in that pocket is a larger flashlight than the one that I carry on my EDC on my person, and that is the Olight R20 Javelet LED flashlight. This is probably my current favorite flashlight. I like it for several reasons. It's compact, it's a thrower, it can throw a great distance. It has a very simple interface to it and it's rechargeable. I really like that the recharging port is O-ring protected. So it's really good if you'd happen to drop it in water, for example. So the Olight R20. The next item in this pocket provides complementary redundancy to that handheld flashlight, and that's a headlamp. This particular model is the Petzl Takina headlamp. I really like having both a handheld flashlight and a hands-free option for illumination, so a headlamp. The next item in the pocket is a quick access pencil. This is my favorite all-time pencil. I've been using it for a couple decades now. This is the Pentel Sharp Mechanical Drafting Pencil 0.9 millimeters. As you probably noticed so far, all the items that are included in this particular pocket are quick access, commonly used items. And this next one is probably the most used item that I carry, and that's some kind of additional power for my electronic devices. So I've been using the Anker PowerCore 2, which is a 10,000 milliamp hours ultra compact portable charger. Anker just makes the best chargers. I've tried all of them and don't bother shopping around. Just pick up an Anker one. You'll be happy that you did it. This one's fairly small, but it provides enough punch for me at 10,000 milliamp hours. So the Anker PowerCore 2. The last quick access item is a cell phone stand. This one is made by MoCo. It's a MoCo collapsible cell phone stand. And this is for when you're out and about with the family. Sometimes we may go to a restaurant, for example, and baby prepper might act up and I want to have something to keep her distracted. So it's pretty easy to take out the cell phone stand, put the cell phone on it, and put a kid's video on that she could watch to keep her entertained. So again, this is the MoCo collapsible cell phone stand. On the zipper of this pocket, I like carrying a glass break slash seatbelt cutter. You've seen this one on my channel before. This is the Rescue Me Emergency Rescue Escape Tool Keychain. I've used it for breaking glass and for cutting seatbelts at the junkyard. And I like having quick access to this one on my bag itself. I also have a few of these in all of the vehicles, but just in case I'm in a different vehicle, I wanted to have quick access to a seatbelt cutter and more importantly, a glass breaker. So the Rescue Me. I carry a few additional items in the hidden front pocket of the Vertex Messenger Bag. The first item are some gloves. These particular ones are made by HWI Gear. They're Kevlar lined leather duty gloves. And these particular ones were recommended to me by Prepper Agenda. He highly vouched for them, so I had to try them out. And after trying them out, I had to buy some additional pairs of them because they were so good and I wanted to have multiple pairs. So Kevlar lined leather duty gloves. Also included in this hidden pocket is a buff hat. I was first made aware of this hat by the Mountain RN when we went on a hike several years back, and since then I've purchased several of these hats and I like having one in my EDC messenger bag. I like the amount of sun protection that it offers. It has UV protection, it covers your, your ears, and I kind of use it in place of having a bandana, which is a common prepper item. So again, a buff hat. 
The last item in this hidden pocket is a very basic hygiene module. I made a switch from using the Eagle Creek storage cubes to these colored pencil sleeves because they're a lot thinner to use in the messenger bag setup versus a backpack. This is just a basic module. I'm not going to go over all the items in detail. Every time I go to the dentist, they usually give me some floss, toothbrush, and toothpaste. So I usually put it in this particular container in addition to some wipes and things like that. So just a basic hygiene module. Now let's start going through all the items in the main storage area of the Veritex messenger bag. This is where you store your laptop, which I'm not going to cover in this particular video. It's a laptop. I store a few items in the front flap of this main storage area. So the first item in that flap is a pocket radio. This particular radio is the Sanjian DT180 AM FM pocket radio. I really like this one for a small pocket size radio. Even though I do have a cell phone on me, it's nice to have an additional item to gather intel in case you weren't able to use your cell phone. Another item that I store in this front flap is a small hex bit set. This particular one is made by Vera. I'm going to talk about it in a little bit more details later. One day when I was at work, one of my coworkers asked if I had a hex wrench set with me so they could adjust their computer monitor. I didn't have the right bit and it made me so mad that I had to go buy a high quality bit set. So I picked the Vera, which I just love all of their tools that they have. We'll talk about this one more later. At the bottom section of this front flap area, there's a small zippered pocket that I carry a few thin items. The first item being a map. This particular map is a Rand McNally Seattle Washington street map. It's always good to have a map with you of your local region just in case you don't have any kind of GPS or your smartphone with you. Since I work in downtown Seattle, I carry a map of the Seattle region. Also in this zipper pocket area are a few 3M N95 face masks. This is a PPE item, so a personal protection equipment item. It could be used to avoid spreading or inhaling any kind of airborne illnesses. I really like that it's a flat design. They're individually wrapped and it makes it really easy for storage. Previously reviewed. The last item in this pocket area is a space blanket. I try to carry an emergency survival blanket in all of my kits. It has so many different applications of use. This particular one's probably my favorite brand. This is the Titan Emergency Survival Blanket. I like this one due to its quality in addition to it coming in different designs. So you could get it in camo or even a signal panel design, which is pretty sweet. So a space blanket. Let's start going through some of the larger items in the main storage area of the Veritex messenger bag. This first item is a notepad. This is a custom leather notebook that was designed for me by a retired police detective who wishes to remain anonymous. So I use it all the time for daily notes. I previously was using the Moleskin notebook, which is also really nice, but this one's just too cool not to carry with you for EDC. So a notebook. The next item is the VanQuest EDC Maximizer Organizer. This is my favorite EDC organizer for small tools and office equipment. The build quality is top notch and the options for storage are endless. I highly recommend any VanQuest product. Let's take this one to the tabletop and go through all the items included. I replaced the standard paracord zipper of the EDC organizer with one of these fancy VanQuest orange pulleys, which I just absolutely love. I've been slowly replacing all of my paracord zippers with one of these fancier ones made by VanQuest. They're easier to grab. They're highly durable. Highly recommended. Let's go through the items on the left side, starting off first with the writing utensils. So I have a few different ones here. The first one is a Zebra M701 stainless steel mechanical pencil. This is a great little mechanical pencil. Also the stainless steel Sharpie marker. Lots of uses for a Sharpie marker. Always nice having one on you. And then the last writing utensil is the Zebra F701 stainless steel ballpoint retractable pen. I previously did a review of this one a long time ago. A great retractable ballpoint pen. So some writing utensils. The next item included is a Bic lighter. I have it in the color orange to match my color of prepping. It's always good to have a method of starting fire on you. The next item is a USB thumb drive. This particular one is made by Kingston. It's always nice having some method of transferring files from computer to computer. So one USB thumb drive. The next item is an SD slash micro SD card reader. It's an on the go USB adapter, which I use for transferring files when filming YouTube videos mainly. It's nice being able to transfer the files from either a GoPro or from my DSLR very quickly to any kind of laptop, even if it doesn't have an SD card reader. So an on the go reader. I also include a medium sized paper clamp to use for various tasks. In the back left pocket, I also carry a few stamps and envelopes for random mailings. Pretty commonly people just come up and ask for stamps and I usually have some with me. I also carry a micro USB cable in that back pocket. This particular one's made by Anchor. It's the Anchor nylon braided tangle free micro USB cable in the color red. I think these are pretty high quality USB cables. I've had a lot of success with them and so there's now all my USB cables are these particular nylon braided ones. So again, these are made by Anchor. 
Every once in a while, I need to draw a straight line, so I like having a small ruler with me. This is a Westcott see-through 6-inch acrylic ruler. It's very basic, but it does the job. Moving on to the right side of the organizer, I carry a standard hex key. This is the one that comes with almost all furniture assembly jobs. I just like having one handy, so a hex key. The next item doesn't get used too often, but when it's needed, it's really nice to have this one close by, and that's an adjustable wrench. This is the channel lock, six inch wide as adjustable wrench. These are for jobs where my Leatherman multi-tool just isn't cutting it. I really like the wide grip on this one. Most recently, we used it for an emergency plumbing job in the kitchen, so an adjustable wrench. The next item are some high quality scissors. These ones are made by Ginger. They're the Ginger five inch craft scissors. These are probably the best scissors that I own. And these are for jobs for when the Leatherman multi-tool scissors just don't cut it, pun intended. So some scissors. The next item is a very small door stop. This particular model is called the Jammer. This small door jam could be placed on the hinge of a door to keep it from locking. It comes in handy at hotels and during times when you need to move a lot of equipment into a building. So a door stop. The next item is an awesome little precision screwdriver set previously reviewed. This is the VHA 16-piece system, four ESD slotted Phillips and Torx micro bit set. This comes in handy all the time, especially for my line of work, which is in computers. It's nice having a precision screwdriver with you, and this one has all the bells and whistles. It's an awesome quality. I highly recommend it. The next item is a graphic knife, and this is another one of those complimentary redundancy items to my Leatherman multi-tool. These are for jobs where I need to have a little bit more precision. So this is the NT Cutter Pro Auto Lock Stainless Steel Graphic Knife. The model number is AD-2P. Awesome little cutter. Highly recommend. In the back right pocket, I carry an additional USB cable, although this one is a USB-C cable, again made by Anchor. It's the Anchor nylon braided tangle-free cable. It's nice having a lot of cables in, and I have a lot of different devices with various USB connection types. So this is a USB-C version. Also included in that back right pocket is some gaffer tape, and it's wrapped around an old credit card. It's always nice having a little bit of tape on you. I prefer the gaffer tape over things like the duct tape or Gorilla tape just because it's not as permanent and it doesn't leave a sticky residue on whatever you have it on. So some gaffer tape. Those are all the items that are included in the VanQuest EDC Maximizer Organizer. It mainly resides in this messenger bag, although sometimes I'll take it out with me for various trips, maybe stored in the glove compartment or in a different bag. Moving back to the main storage compartment, I have my electronics module. This is in the color yellow for the color of prepping, and this just has a basic set of electronics, mainly cables, to use for EDC purposes. So let's quickly go through all the items in this module. This one uses another one of those colored pencil sleeves that I've been using for the modules of my messenger bag because they're so thin. They're very inexpensive. They come in a 10-pack, and so you have a lot of different color options. And this also has a yellow tag. Let's start going through these items now fairly quickly, starting off first with some headphones. These are some Panasonic in-ear stereo headphones. They're fairly inexpensive at around $9. These are for cheap on-the-go listening, and it ties in with the radio that was shown earlier. Next, we have the IXCC 3 feet tangle-free male-to-male 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable. I use this when I'm in other vehicles, for example, a rental car for playing music from my phone. Next, we have the Anchor Powerline Plus USB-C cable. have this in gray. I really like the material of these cables. They don't tangle. They're highly durable. I really, really like them. Next, we have an Anchor 8-in-1 USB 3.0 portable card reader. So again, another card reader for SD and micro SD cards for on-the-go file transfer when filming videos is most likely what I'm using it. Next, we have an Anchor Powerline 2 Lightning Cable. I have this one in blue. While I don't own any Apple products myself, so many others do, and it's nice to have a method for charging one or transferring data. I have one more micro USB cable. Again, the Anchor Nylon Braided Tangle Free Micro USB Cable. I highly recommend these. Just go and upgrade all of your USB cables to these ones made by Anchor. They're super durable and high quality. And last, I have a portable wall charger to go with all of these cables that I carry in my EDC messenger bag. This is the Anchor Elite Dual Port 24 Watt USB Travel Wall Charger Power Port 2 with Power IQ and a foldable plug. This is my favorite portable wall charger for my electronic devices. It charges super fast, it has good indicator lights, and I own several of them. They're spread out all throughout the house, and I carry one in my EDC messenger bag. Going back into the bag, I have a portable screwdriver. This one's made by Vera. It's the Vera Craft Form Compact 25 slotted and Phillips bit holding screwdriver with bayonet blade and a pouch. This is my favorite portable screwdriver. It's made in Germany by Vera. It's compact and stores all of the necessary screwdriver bits that you could ask for inside of the handle. This screwdriver comes in handy all the time. 
The Vera screwdriver pairs really nicely with the Vera hex bit set, which I talked about earlier. Again, I started carrying these hex bits because a coworker named Jake happened to need a hex bit and I did not have one on me. So now I got this Vera set. A little on the expensive side, but these tools are built to last. They're made in Germany and these are what I consider to be heirloom tools. Someday I could pass these tools on to my kids. On the other side of this main compartment area, I have an item for water purification. This is the SteraPen Adventurer Opti UV Water Purifier. This is another item of complementary redundancy for water filtration. Rather than carry a filtration straw, water filter, or a pump like I do in my other emergency bags, I wanted something that could complement those items and be more practical for EDC purposes. This UV water purifier works great when out and about at restaurants that have maybe shady water and you want to help purify them. Plus, it helps recruit new people into prepping due to its coolness factor. Just so you know, I do carry various water bottles with me for EDC purposes. I'm just not covering them specifically in this video. Let's move on to the other side of this compartment area that has a couple zippered areas for additional gear. The first item in this pocket is another PPE item. Again, that stands for Personal Protection Equipment. This is a pocket smoke mask. This particular one is made by HK Mask, and this is for emergency escape purposes. Again, I work in a high-rise building in the city. This item is for building evacuation during a fire. It's the thinnest smoke mask that I've been able to find. It's rated to allow for 20 minutes of smoke filter effectiveness. Don't worry, a review is coming soon. But one pocket smoke mask made by HK Mask. The next item in that pocket is a small little pharmacy module. I'm not going to go into this in too much details. It's basically just a little bag that carries some of those individually wrapped medicines. So painkillers, things like that. So a pharmacy module. In the other pocket, I carry some batteries, four AA batteries and four AAA batteries. These are all N-loop batteries, so they're rechargeable. They're very popular in the prepper community. These ones are made by Panasonic. They're the Panasonic N-loop rechargeable batteries. They're rechargeable. They hold their charge for a long time and they're really high quality. And then the final item in that pocket is for hygiene. This is a grooming kit specifically made by Takumi. This is the Takumi No Waza Craftsman Luxury Six Piece Grooming Kit. This is kind of a luxury item, but I really like them, so they're in my EDC messenger bag. They're the best nail clippers that I've ever been able to use. They're extremely high quality. The cutting tools are extremely sharp. It makes grooming fun, so I like having them in my EDC messenger bag. Again, the Takumi No Waza Craftsman Luxury Six Piece Grooming Kit. Now let's move on to the back compartment of the Veritex messenger bag. This particular section is intended to be used by law enforcement for inserting a ballistic shield. I use it for my medical items. The first item is a tourniquet. This is the North American Rescue Military Issue Cat Tourniquet. It's the official tourniquet of the United States military. Fortunately, I've never had to use it, but if I ever needed one, this could save a life. So one tourniquet. And the last item in this pocket is a small little medical kit. I like to call it my grab and go medical module. So I make these in bulk. I've covered this in a previous video, which I'll link in the description box below. I use this particular kit for my bug out bag, also in my vehicles and with my EDC messenger bag. For the sake of time, I'm not gonna go through all the items individually, but I'll put a link in the description box below if you'd like to know all the items that are included in here and all of the items are included in the PDF document for this EDC messenger bag. So a basic medical kit. That concludes all of the items that I'm currently storing in my EDC messenger bag. I tried to have a wide variety of different items in there. A lot of practical items that are used on a regular basis and some emergency items like a smoke mask, for example. So I really like having a lot of different options for me for everyday purposes. And I like having the right tool for the right job at the right time. So having that gear in this EDC messenger bag has been very beneficial for me. I know that I've been going fairly quickly in this video, so again, there's that PDF document that you could download in the description box, which contains a list of all the items that are covered in this video in greater detail. Again, the main reason that I'm using a messenger bag for EDC purposes is to allow me to also carry a backpack for emergency purposes if needed. So I could combine the EDC messenger bag with a bug out bag or a get home bag, for example. That's gonna do it for this video featuring my EDC messenger bag. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. Please feel free to leave any kind of comments below in the comment section regarding this video and make sure you download that PDF document in the description box below, which has a list of all the items that were discussed in this video. So stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.